Good morning. I wanted to uh, review these regrips. Uh, apparently, they're made for tools. It's uh, like a foam, like a foam grip. But I've tried foam grips before that go over the regular grips, grab on, and uh, I've seen grip puppies and grip buddies. Uh, they've got their own problems, and uh, someone recommended regrip, which is, like I said, designed for tools. But I want to give it a try. So what what happens is it comes on this tube and it's got a curl there you slide the whole thing over the bar and then you peel the tube out from the inside and it lets the rubber relax down over the bar I think it shows it on here it lets the the rubber relax so I'm gonna give them a try here we go all right well the packaging was a challenge to tear apart and uh, I've got the thing out and it looks like that squiggle I showed you goes all the way through where you pull here so you need to get this to the inside of the grip where you slide that on to where that would be to the inside then as you peel it away you'll pull this you'll peel away from the inside I don't think I'm going to be able to do this and hold my phone camera but we're going to give it a try here we go Pull. There we go. Maybe I can get it started. We'll see how it goes. I mean, it's certainly big enough to fit over the bar end, which is nice. I didn't have to take the bar end off. Oh, come on. Forgive me. I gotta brace it. Get this thing pulling. Here I go, Mr. Shaky Camera. I'm sorry. Okay, I gotta shut this off and get it started. Be back in a sec. I'm back. I figured out what I was doing wrong. It was getting twisted around the bar. You need to keep it kind of straight as it goes. So it's just about to drop on. If I keep it fairly straight, I should be able to pull it with one hand and then follow it around. Yep. I gotta go around with it. Otherwise it tries to twist up in there and it grabs. I see it's starting to, should be starting to narrow down. I should have done this with my right hand. Anyway. I'm gonna get it started, I'll be right back. All right, I am learning as you're learning. I got it started and it was gapped back a little bit from the, the thumb ring here. So I stopped, I only had a little bit paid out and I worked it on, it worked on pretty easily. So I'm gonna keep going here. I should be able to pull the rest of this out. It goes easy and then it kind of gets hung up. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest. I'll be right back. All right, we we're down to the last little bit. It does go really easy with two hands. You hold the grip and pull it. And look, I can just zip the rest out. Although now it looks like I need to find a surgeon who's qualified for circumcision to trim that off. But we'll just take a knife and, uh, and trim around that. It, uh... It is not a porous rubber, so it's not going to let water in. And it is a very strong rubber. It feels squishy, but it also increases the diameter of the bar. We'll give it a try. I think we're going to like that. If not, I cut it off. They're about 10 bucks a piece. It's regrip. There's the part number. PN44-7, it's a seven inch long grip. The grip range they say is 0.79 to inch and a half. And it starts off bigger than that. Well, at least inch and a half. It starts off bigger than inch and a half, big enough to go over the bar. So if it's something you wanna give a try, uh, I would recommend it. Thanks for watching.